Blessed day, my people. So right now, Sizzla Kalanji are burning a fire upon dance all Queen Spice. And of course, you know, say foot of hype burned the fire last night. You understand? But it seems like Sizzla feel away about this show that Spice is doing. And if you don't know me, I talk about Spice is scheduled to perform at a LGBTQ festival in a Toronto. Now, of course, a lot of persons have some problem with that. But Spice is also getting a lot of support. You understand? So that's the topic I want to talk about. Also, one of our veteran dance hall artists caught a minor stroke and actually need the public assistant, you know, say people. So that's one of the topic they more want to talk about as well. But before we get into it, don't forget to like if you don't like the video. Make sure you subscribe and also turn the notification bell on. That way you're notified when we post a new video. So yesterday it was revealed that Spice is going to be performing at a LGBTQ festival in a um, Toronto. Zine people. Now of course, man like Futa I being the man that he is come out and actually start burning the fire. You understand? And to be honest, people, Futa I are the only man missy been burning the fire from the other day. Now we see Sizzla Kalanji start make some posts. Sizzla even post Spice on him Instagram page and address her directly and make sure no say not all money is good money and also that she must not do the show. You understand the man literally write it you know people say Spice do not do this show. But of course Spice already I guess signed the contract and them don't put her up as the headlining act and all these things. So I get to the post what Sizzla say and then I also show you some of the comments them seeing people I'm going to also tell you know why this should not be a surprise to you guys if Spice, Shensia and some of the other female artists them do certain things like this, you understand? Um, I will eat more of them when I go see them events here. Just believe me, but I could get to the post where Sizzla put on him Instagram page and some of the comments them on thing. So Sizzla started off by saying, Jamaican artists already know that our indigenous music bashes against Homer and Les. We Jamaicans bash against anything that is corrupt and misleading to our nation of people. Do not mix reggae and dancehall with your evil nasty ways, not to guns, not to G-A-Y-S, not to Les, not to Peter or Pedro, not to all what's wrong and going against our culture. So you know him started it off and I make we know say look, we're not involved in a certain type of nastiness, certain liberty, dance and music no one, nothing to do with that. You understand people? Now him also go on for saying in the caption, none of them nastiness about ya on a gwe. You will not corrupt our children anymore, Zin. So you know you must speak out for the children them car. That is what Sizzla do. Now you also go sub up and repost the article that was posted over Dance Hall Mag on his Instagram page. And if you look clearly on it, you can see it, Mark. Do not do this show. You see what I say, people. So obviously, I tell Spice that she knows to do that show there. Now, I'm also going to say, we're not sell out, we're not hungry. Jamaica full of good food and very nice people. Our African heritage and culture is rich. You see what I say. So basically, I say, yo, we're not sell out, you know. So obviously, I try to say Spice sell out and thing. Now, what I'm going to do, people, is go into the comment section. And I'm going to show you some of the comments with the people. I say, you understand? So one person left a comment saying, Unfortunately to you, my King Prophet, she has already sold out and a lot of other artists have sold out. It's not looking good right now. Don't know what's going to get us out of this downward spiral of letting America do whatever they want in our country and push whatever agenda today. Please, we were told never to let them back in. But, but did we listen? An expert says a rust and a mix with certain things. Praising Ja. An expert says a all for the money. Somebody says spice sell out her dignity. Long time. This is what happens when you really have, your, have no talent and have to do things to make up for it. So they must say spice no really have no talent. So she have to do them thing here for kind of make up feet. You understand? Because if she did have talent, she wouldn't need to do these shows in order for make money and them thing. You understand? Um... An expert says a more fire. Somebody says some of them do anything for the money. Yes, it's so only can see a whole lot of people um a bash spice in a sizzler comment section and thing. And the same thing I go on over upon footer hype page, but over upon spice page, she get support from Jada Kingdom, she get support from a lot of people. Now, obviously, that's spice page, so it's been followed by a lot of persons around the world. So, enough of them people are support certain things. So, it's not surprising when you say spice, I get support from these people. But one of the things them why a lot of you guys should not be surprised when spice do a show like this is because for one spice is a cast member of love and hip-hop 
love and hip hop consist of these type of people. Spice and these people are friends. You understand what I mean? say? So just imagine now, Spice, I do the show now, she get used to being around them that it don't really bother her anymore. Then you understand what I mean? say? Maybe if she did just talk in a certain place, and then again, you can still get a lot of exposure and still not sell out yourself. But I try every show now, say, she's already pairing with them. She a laugh with them, she a eat with them, she and them a friend, you understand? Maybe them even come her yard. So she already get comfortably in a way where she not look upon them like how um, some other people that look upon them. You understand what I say? It's like she see them and she see past certain things where them do. I don't say it's an excuse in people. I just show her say spice. She not think like how Sizzler and Futa hype them a thing. You see what I say? So I think from love and hip hop come out and she start knock heads with them and them thing there, she just get more comfortable and things. So when I go see she do more of these shows and all of that you understand yesterday she put up a post and seemingly clapping back at footer hype you understand what me i say after he make a post she goes up ups and make a post and big up the they know them community they and say ray tt and lele so of course that is going to look like a dish at this footer hype car when footer hype put up theme post a bona wrote last night um, I'm actually tagger, so we know so she see the post as well as other people are got tagger and them thing. There's more people, but let me know what you guys think about this. Is Dancehall Spice Queen a sellout? Will she lose her Dancehall Queen title for doing a show like this? Because as me say, enough people have blazed the fire upon Spice right about now. But I tell you know these people, I remember me telling you know this. Do not be surprised if you know see Shensia do a show like this. Do not be surprised if you see Jada Kingdom. Well, Jada Kingdom come out and say she had less the other day. So, you know, not supposed to be surprised about that. You understand what I say? There's a lot of artists out there. You know, not to be surprised. And at the end of the day, me not tell them how to live them life. You understand what I say? But I understand what Sizzler and Futa Hyper say. Dance all culture, not really mix up in a certain things. But, you know, one of the elders in the business, you know, new generation are going to have a different thinking. Just like how I say Bunty um, come out and him a burn out um, the trap dance hall and them things. You understand? Bunty Killer is more used to the old school dance hall thing. And we see say things kind of change. You understand? Some persons would say that it's taking a downward spiral. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And before I go into the next topic, a female have something to say about Jamaican men. Zane people... And honestly, my understand her point, you know, but me feel like say she wrong for this all Jamaican men because the way all the brother here this her, me as a man would have never did she or any woman that way. But listen to what the girl here say and let me know where you're thinking in the comment section. Hey guys, so um, I have a story to tell you. Today I was walking inside a plaza and I mean, you know, I'm not so familiar with the place no more because it have been years that I actually been to the, the plaza and I end up like a look around and you know I try to see where the place is however a guy was walking in front of me and he was looking on me and you know whatever um so I was just looking around and you end up go somewhere like go to a counter and I look in that same direction as him I wasn't staring him down or anything like that I you know I said the man start cuss and I say so what because me I look on you, you look back for me and I come talk about hey girl go away move your blood clot and the man start cuss and I cuss like I went inside the office and me end up like me end up hear the man out there cuss and I talk about and the belly bottom and I talk about ugly girl and this and that and I was like seriously bro I did not even say nothing at all to the man and this for sure how ignorant Jamaican men are when it comes on to women. You don't have to do these men nothing at all. And a mostly Jamaican man may say have this mentality and behavior towards women. You motherfuckers don't like female. Let's be real. Jamaican men have a different hatred towards women, especially black women. It's like when you just have this self hate thing. So when you literally see a black woman when you don't know. And you not know, take it up on your head for be little and bring her down. You don't know the person, you just have bring her down. And in case like these now, me have to look into it and say, we should have more rights to can protect ourselves because a man like this could have actually attack me today and you no know, see it probably you say me get stab up or me get acid because this man literally across me and say no at all to him. As me say me never did a steer down the man, me just looking at the direction where the man did because you know that's how it is. Me I look for the place and whatever it is, me not steer down the man and I look down the man. There is not even enough time for me to do that. And the man I go on and I be so. 
I can't think that it's like some mental illness are going with them on here. And it's not the first. I see it. I regular may walk on the road. And because I don't entertain men, I would be polite and tell them, say, no, or, you know, them start cursing me out and start treat me, them start do this. Y'all really don't like women. It's just a play. You understand? Like, y'all have some hatred. Look how much women did a year time in a Jamaica. Look how much women get attacked for them pussy. Look how much women get stabbed up and killed. Look how much women get kidnapped. Jamaican men have serious, serious hate towards women. And me, no, nah, go make none of them money hurt me, to be honest. Females only need to be careful and protect on herself. Me know that there are laws that can put you in a jail. But protect yourself. Put something in your bag or walk with something. Please, me I beg you. Yes, yeah, so the first thing women are like is she has all Jamaican men. Not all men stay that way, baby girl. You understand? Most of we not even stay that way. It's just few men out there just seem like, you know, them want this woman if woman look upon them a certain way or whatever it may be. Because, you know, unless you're not telling the full story, maybe the man did a call to you and you go sub up and flash him off. Not saying that give him any right for cussy and them thing there. You, know? you understand, people? But, um, yeah, but we're not thinking about what she has to people. She needs to change that from all Jamaican men to some Jamaican men. Because, you know, me know most women wouldn't like if me or other men use one experience with a woman and say all Jamaican women are, them are this and them are that. So, I never really like that part. There's more people. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now I'm going to talk about an unfortunate situation that happened to one of our veteran dancehall artists, as my people, and that artist is none other than Tiger. When you remember Tiger? Yeah, man, people. So Tiger um, actually caught a minor stroke and the family is seeking some financial assistance. So may I get into this article where I explain everything and you don't know, you can leave some positive comments in the comment section, is it me? So it said, Tiger suffers minor stroke, family seeks financial assistance. Dancehall icon Tiger reportedly suffered a second minor stroke two weeks ago, a setback that has forced his family to seek financial aid to help defray his medical expenses. It was a minor stroke. Thank God it affected his left side and he is walking very slowly. He needs some assistance with funds to deal with his medical expenses because he has some blood work to do and other stuff and it is very challenging. His daughter realized who is also a dancehall artist or dancehall mag, Tiger 61, a dancehall icon known for songs such as No Wanga Got, When and Puppy Love, suffered his first stroke years ago. Born Norman Washington Jackson, he has struggled with his health for decades after a near fatal car accident in 1994. Realtree said that the stroke was sudden but thankfully not critical. My father was with my brother at the time and my brother told me he passed out a few times, for a few times, and was gasping for breath. The following day I noticed he was speaking slowly and moving differently. I took him to the doctor and he checked him up and diagnosed him and he had a stroke and high blood pressure. She said, the financial cost of dealing with his medical expenses have proven to be quite challenging to the family. It's me everything on in terms of financial support and Tiger doesn't want me to reach out but I have to. There is no help and I can't do it alone. I set up a real helping hand account so I am asking the family to help. She said, Tiger first recorded as a singer under the name Rankin Tiger. His first single being Why Can't You Leave Dreadlocks Alone in 1978. Yes, my people, so very sad situation. You don't know one of our veteran artists and things. So, you know, the people who can give some assistance, when you can help him out and thing, and help out the family. You understand what I say? You don't know Tiger, me, I wish you nothing but best health and good health and strength and all of these positive things. You understand what I say? Um, yeah, hopefully, them just get the help and the support that they need. You understand, people? But um, the article over Dancehall Mark, so you can check it out, or you can go up on his daughter page, um, R Helping Hands. You understand what I say? R H E L P I N G Hands, and you see the information over there. You see, people, that up on Instagram. So go over there if you know, want to help him and support him and all of that. You see, my people. Um, bless up on yourself, you know, and let me know when you think about these topics or these stories in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Is it my people? I'm out.